Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our City Skylines playthrough on Redwood. Yes, the city of Redwood. Uh, in vanilla, of course, getting ready for City Skylines 2. And I've been watching a lot of the dev diaries recently, and City Skylines 2 looks fantastic. It does look really good, doesn't it? So I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, but yes, today, what are we going to do? So today, we're going to expand our population through sort of this area here alongside the river. So it should be high value in terms of land value. We're going to get some connections in here that we want. Because we're going to use this for something else. But in order to get to there, we need to get to big town first. We've got campus areas with that. Then we've got wall-to-wall -wall residential buildings. Uh, which is something that I really, really want to go. High density buildings as well. And offices. Um... So, yeah, but for now, we have a high uh, demand for industry. So, we're going to expand the industry over here slightly uh, and try and get that demand down. Then, we're going to expand our population out this way while putting in some nice new road networks in here, especially for uh, ready for our next bid project, which is going to be on this side of the river. So, it's going to be really cool. So, let's get ready for that one. Now, castle farms. Can we still only build small uh, farm? Yeah, only still only small ones. Why are we not at level 3? What do we need? We need a few more workers, and that's all. Mainly because we don't have enough educated and highly educated people. In terms of our education system, let's have a look at what we're doing down here. We've got that one. Okay, so I think we need another school. Let's stick it over here by the sports complex. I think that would be the best option. Probably in there. So it only takes out one building. So let's stick it there. High school-wise, we're still fine. And we don't have a university just yet. Because we're waiting for campus, of course. Don't want to put a generic university in there. So let's stick another school in. Looking good. Those schools do look really nice. They fit in very well. Although this area is a bit more modern, so maybe this school doesn't fit in so well. But it's absolutely fine. It's part of the old neighborhood, of course. And uh, this is part of the new neighborhood. So, let's see whether we can uh, maybe expand this area slightly. And I'm thinking, instead of worrying about some more production buildings. Because I really want to wait until we can get large production buildings. Which is level 5, of course. Which is quite a long way away. So let's get some flour mills. I think that would be a good op good option for us in there. Flour mills do make a lot of traffic and they make a bit of pollution, I believe. So let's make sure that we've got enough um, in terms of capacity for these trucks and stuff to uh, pass through. So let's get that there. And I think we'll go with... Yeah, you can see the pollution there. We'll go with a few, and we'll probably stick some car parks in the middle there, if we do have any car parks. But actually, no, because they act as kind of tourist destinations, don't they? So I don't really want uh, tourists coming up to our flour mill area. That would be a pretty terrible, terrible uh, disaster, really, uh, for them. Let's get rid of that. Let's build another flour mill on the end. And, of course, let's go... Here, and square it off. I think that we'll be fine. Okay, finally, we're at level 2. We can now get the medium crop fields and all that sort of thing. What do we need for level 3, though? Uh, for level 4, we need 600 workers, which is quite a few. Um, as well as, of course... Uh, yeah, we've produced more resources than that, but you can see the workers flooding into this area now. Very nice indeed. How many crops? We're only making 58 tons of crops. Which is not a huge amount. We actually have no water here. Classic. Classic, classic, classic. Uh, no water in there. So let's stick some water in. Let's just uh, cover this whole area, really. Uh, we've got plenty of water, so we don't need to worry about it too much. Let's get that in there. I am quite uh, looking forward to City Skylines 2 having water and electricity already in there. It just is a nice... Uh, a nice, you know, uh, life 
uh, improvement of life. I don't know. What, what, I can't speak today. Um, quality of life improvement. There we are. I can't speak. What's going on? But we're missing out on some power, aren't we? Interesting. How is our budget for power? Oh, it's actually really high. So I think we need a new power station then. Ideally something greener. So we've got the geothermal one. And honestly, I think that would fit in quite nicely in our area over here. If we could fit it down the back. No, not quite. What about in here? I mean... Yeah, it doesn't fit in perfectly there, but... I mean, if it fit, fit alongside the back there, that'd be quite cool. But, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% on this. Let's have a look. What other options? I mean, we've got more of these options available. But they do, you know, they, they ebb and flow, which is pretty, uh, pretty annoying. So, yeah, I think the geothermal is the best option. But it's just where to put it. I like it along the side of the road like that. I think we put it on the entry to this place as sort of a, you know, oh, that's the place that's powering the farm. You know, a nice big geothermal power plant. And it's actually really small, isn't it? When you consider how big geothermal power plants are in real life. <laughs> that is a tiny, tiny one. So, but anyway, that should be plenty enough power for the time being. And we can probably put our budget down then now. So we're not spending so much money. We are making a lot of money. So let's have a look. What else can we do in terms of expanding this industry? We can now get medium fields and all that sort of thing. Um, I'm not too keen on just this, this grid formation for the farms. But it is the best <laughs> way to do it. So I'm wondering if we can do it a bit more higgledy-piggledy. So let's have a look to make it look a little bit better. Uh, processing wise, let's go for a medium crop field. Let's go for like three like that along there. And let's see if we can get like a little road down the back of them. Like this. So it's like kind of like a service road. And then let's maybe get some fruit fields down this back road. How many we can fit in, I have no idea. Not quite as many as I expected. And it doesn't actually want to go in there. So we'll leave that space for now. And then maybe if we came down here a little bit. So maybe if we stick that road in there just for now. Just to try and break it up a little bit. Not make it not look so generic. And uh, yeah, pointless. Like, I don't like the, uh, the square grids so much. So yeah, getting rid of those square grids would be good. And then I wonder how far along does this road have to be towards to fit more in a little bit further. Let's do that. And I think it was probably about there, wasn't it? Okay, we're on to the next level, which is good. We get the farm maintenance building and the slaughterhouse and the main sort of upgrades there. Yeah, that's it. That's what we want to see. And we'll go there and there. So yeah, just a bit more sort of spread out. A little bit more realistic in terms of the look there, I think. And I'm fine leaving it like that. I think that looks quite cool. That's definitely helped out quite a bit. How many workers have we got then in there now? We need 820. Well, we're definitely going to be passing the resources very soon. And soon we should be making a lot, of, lot more crops with these new buildings there. And yeah, we should be smashing out the amount of workers in there as well. So we'll leave that to run for a little bit. And then let's see how it gets on. So I've let the game run for a little bit, guys. And, of course, Castle Farms is doing well. Doing well. We just need a few more workers 
in there, which we can get very soon. And you may notice we have added in our infrastructure for our new project across this side of the river. We've got a nice American four-lane truss bridge over here that looks fantastic. Really nice looking bridge there as well. Next to a four-lane European style stone bridge. Very cool indeed. Um, and these aren't mod assets, guys. They are assets from one of the creator packs, I believe. And um, the European two-lane bridge as well, which I think just looks really good. I wish this one had those kind of turrets on it as well. I think it just looks a lot plainer. This one looks so much better than that one, in my opinion. I mean, even this one is a bit more interesting with the, the rail on there and the different uh, stones on the side there. And I've also upgraded this road to be a tree road, tree-lined road as well. So it's not just, you know, plain down the middle. It's got trees on it as well. And we've got a few upgrades going on, as you can see, because Factory Foot, um, Old Factory Monument Park has actually upgraded recently. But we're going to have to get some more entertainment in there to get up to the last couple of levels but while we're here let's upgrade this area let's get a few different things into this area um let's keep on going with the bike lane that is the bike lane one isn't it yep fantastic and let's get some housing in this area along the river which should be really nice so we're gonna try and do this pretty well in terms of Having a nice line of houses just along the river there. And ideally, we don't want to connect into this road or this road. We want to connect into this one. So, we're going to have to do that like this. Then, let's see. Can we, in fact, get out here? And then maybe coming off this way. And then, maybe something like that there. I mean, it's going to be a little bit busy with traffic, but it's fine. It's fine, guys. The traffic's been okay so far. Famous last words, I know, but it's been been okay so far. So, yeah, let's uh, keep it up with that. So, we're getting the... We were using a bit of a different path, weren't we? I think the gravel path on this side by the river in the sand is fine. Looks quite nice, in fact. Just a weird connection sometimes it does. Uh, with things, but apart from that, it's pretty nice. And ideally, we're not going to put houses along this road here either, or anything like that. This area is going to get saved to be another bit of a commercial zone, if we need a bit more commercial zoning. So, that's fine. And let's connect uh, up through there. I think the rest of it should be okay, to be fair. Might get a path... Uh, bridge across at some point, but they all only have to walk there to there or there and there and they're across the river So not really hundred percent necessary But let's zone this in this road is actually a strode at the minute does have houses along it So let's continue that I Yeah, I'm okay with putting houses along here for now if it gets too busy You can always unzone it guys. Can't we we can always dezone it so, let's, uh, yeah, if it gets too busy, we'll just dezone it and get rid of them. That's fine. They're pretty close to the commercial area, so they shouldn't be too upset about going to commercial. And they should be able to walk there. The only thing they'll have to drive for is work up at the industrial zone. I can't wait for some offices, because offices are really going to help us out. Because I really don't want to expand that industrial area too much. I want to expand the farms. But not the actual industrial area here. I'd rather expand the farms instead. And you can see the amount of traffic streaming in through there now. Now, they are managing to be okay. There's not been any backups just yet. The same can be said for over here. But of course, we've just got to be wary of that and watch out for it as time goes on. So hopefully these guys all get zoned in. And then we can expand it up this way as well. Uh, which will be quite nice. Obviously, cut-off points kind of up here, but yeah, I guess we'll be fine. Uh, we need to get to 8,000, so we need another 1,500 people. What's wrong with our power? Is it just too far away? Ah, this, this isn't even connected in. It's broken. 
Well, that's annoying, isn't it? That's probably why we had power issues before. Why do you do that? I, I don't know. I don't get why it does that. It's just more annoying than anything. Like, it's just a quality of life thing that's just annoying. Like, no point. It doesn't break the game. It doesn't make it worse or anything like that. It just literally is just annoying. So, <laughs> I wish it was less annoying. Well, here we are raining again. I kind of wish the rain... The rain is very often on this, <laughs> on this map. Kind of wish it was slightly less often, but yeah. I've complained enough in this episode. Oh! Lightning strike! We literally witnessed that. That's kind of crazy. Where's the, uh... Where's the trucks coming? Come on, fire trucks! Let's go! Where are they even? Are they based down here? Oh, they might be based all the way up there. Um... Where are they? Oh, they're all the way over there. I think we probably need another one down this far side. We do have the, you know, the higher capacity one with 25. That's only got six. Six. That one's got 25 as well and actually fits in quite nicely. So I'm wondering whether we want to maybe stick it in. Maybe on this corner or something like that. I know it's kind of destroyed a lot of buildings. Uh, but that's fine. They, they might manage to fit some sort of buildings in there. But that's a much bigger fire station. So that's going to make a big difference. And the fire has gone out now. So that's good. Uh, fantastic. Well, there's another fire over there. More lightning fires going on. Uh, and yeah, how are our budgets, by the way? Oh, they're all at set at neutral now, which is good. We do have access to public transport. Uh, but I don't really want to do the public transport just yet. Until we get a little bit of extra, until we get this area set in. And we're probably going to do some sort of tram network in here, which will be pretty cool. Uh, and we are hoping to make that into a pedestrianized area as well. Again, these goddamn power lines. Every time, bro. Every time. Like, why? <laughs> it's just so annoying. Let's add in another water tower over here. Keep those water towers. Oh, it's a bit close, isn't it? Move it. Let's just add it in like there. And it might... Yeah, it does bridge the gap. That's pretty cool. Good. Bridging the gap so that we don't need that anymore. Yeah, the good, 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 good. Bit of a backup on the toll now, but that's fine. Uh... You don't have water. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's get rid of you. There you are. Fantastic. So, hopefully we can get to 8,000 sometime soon. We might need to fill in this area. So, I'm slightly worried about that. So, let's have a look at what we can do over here. Let's uh, make sure that this is all back on again. And let's come off like that, maybe. And that... And that. That's a really nice curve, that, isn't it? Very nice indeed. Um, let's see whether we can sort of uh, bring in an extra curve around this way as well. These are really nice flowing, flowing roads. So let's do that. I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look fantastic. It'd be nice if we could do some sort of paralleling. Uh, but we can't, of course, with the tools that we have available to us right now. But, I mean, that's fine. Actually looks quite good. Um, and then let's get our paths in, of course. Paths across. And this definitely, hopefully, should take us up to 8,000 by filling this area in, surely. Although we don't have a huge amount of uh, residential demand right now. So maybe it won't. But let's uh, let's see. Let's get these across there, these across there, these across there, and I think that's good. So let's uh, let's fill this area in then. We are going to go Strody again, and like I say, if, if traffic becomes too much of an issue, the Strode will disappear. We'll stop zoning on the road, we'll remove the zoning from it, and we'll be absolutely fine. So... Well, actually, we don't want to be Strody on that road. So, no Strody on there. Strody everywhere else, though. So, yeah, let's go. Uh, get rid of you. You come round. All the way to there. 
And we'll fill in this little zone here. Good. Looking good. That looks like a, a decent chunk of housing. And now it kind of really does feel like uh, factory foot is kind of finished, really. Nicely filled in. Trees everywhere. Nicely onto the sandy beaches. And yeah, good. Now, what we're going to do, we are going to build a commercial zone. But we're going to build it off this road. And as I said, I don't want the residential roads going onto there. But we are going to build this commercial zone off it. That should be 90 degrees exactly for both. And we're going to just build it in like this. It's kind of a weird way of doing it. But it's the best way to fill in this space without getting rid, you know, of all those roads. Actually, is that 90 degrees? See, they look parallel to me from here. Oh, they're actually not parallel, are they? Oh, that's kind of annoying. It's not... It's not too bad. I think I'll leave it there for now. But if it gets too annoying, then we will uh, remove it. And while we're here, let's zone in this commercial zone. So right in the middle there, right in there. Do we want... I think we want to fill in... Yeah, we'll fill in like this. We don't want houses on that side, but commercial is okay. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. And that's a nice little, another little commercial zone ready to go for us. So big commercial area over here. So when we do consider doing our public transport, then we really want to consider smashing in uh, a couple of stops over here around this commercial zone. Because it's our biggest commercial zone by far. We've got another one over there. But this one um, is the biggest by far. And it is filling in right now as we speak so are the houses are oh, do we have oh we don't have water the whole way through there we'll follow the road ish i know i'm very bad with this don't worry guys i know it will hurt a lot of you but it's fine whatever whatever fits the spaces with the water honestly <laughs> it doesn't matter too much uh but yeah nice looking good honestly i kind of want to make these bio ones Organic and local produce. <sighs> but yeah. So organic and local produce. Uh, electric car stations. Produces 50% of sold goods locally. Truck traffic in the area is reduced by 50%. Increases electricity consumption and reduces garbage production. All of which is quite good. Surprised you don't. Oh yeah. God. Uh, I'm sorry about the, <laughs> those pipes, guys. <laughs> I know they're terrible. But yeah, filling in this area. 7,400 now. Very close to 8,000. And that is the goal. That is the goal. 8,000 so that we can fulfill our purpose over here with a very nice little area that we've got planned. That's going to be really fun to build. Um, and it's going to be... It's not quite high, high density... But we are going to use the wall-to-wall -wall buildings, which are quite high density. A lot higher density than this stuff, anyway. So that's good. We also get access to sports arenas, uh, which is quite cool. Where are they actually in? Are they in, in here? No. Or unique buildings? Sports arenas? Uh, treasure hunt? I've never seen that one before. Oh, look at these. Look at these content creator packs. There's so much in here that we really want to experiment with and add in. The gold tower. Nice. We've got the monument of colossal heroes. <laughs> That's kind of cool. What's that? That's really cool. A place for meditation and worship. And it's a tiny little building. Do we fit that in here? That'd be nice if we could fit it in somewhere. Um, I know it costs a lot, but I'm assuming it gives quite a big bonus. What else is in here? Saharan Research Institute. That's pretty sick. Look at that building. But well, we don't want that one just yet. The Silver Tower. We've got a conference center. That's quite cool. Obviously not for our sub suburban area. But the Temple of the Sahel. So another temple. Got headquarters for banking. Uh, city market. 
I mean, I wonder whether that actually does act as a commercial building. So, I wonder whether we could fit this in here somewhere. I think we do. Let's stick it in. How much does it? How much did it cost? Eighty thousand. And it actually looks really nice. Looks really cool. I like it. It's kind of a tourist destination building, which is a bit annoying. I'd rather it be a, uh, um, you know, a bit of a uh, commercial zone building, but no. But we've got a city soccer stadium as well, which is pretty cool. We do actually have a few more stadiums. Medium soccer stadium. So this will be like your local team stadium. And I think we want one of these. We should have put one in here, shouldn't we? I think we want one of these for Monument Park. It would probably be located either in the center, but it's all, you know, houses now. Either that, or it would be located right in, like, a little commercial zone that people can get to. Uh, Mall of Marvels, of course. Loads of different stuff in here now. Shopping plaza. Uh, traditional department store. Contemporary department store, which is quite expensive, to be honest, and very big. Both very big. But yeah, we've got a lot of things. Yes, finally! And we've got the uh, and we've got the university as well, campus area, IT cluster, office wall-to-wall -wall buildings, finance office buildings, new policies. Very cool indeed. Lots of different policies. New zones, of course. So very good. University, toll booths, we've got metros now, sauna, prison, islands. Balloon tours, solar updraft, post as well, warehouses, high capacity police, stock exchange, universities as well. Very nice indeed. That's something we want. These buildings are all massive. Research center, robotics institute. Huge. What's that? Nanotechnology center. Cool though. But let's leave that for now. But I think that's where we're going to end today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe. All that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.